is going on my friends Cubs fan Han here for another Galaxy of Heroes speculation video my favorite kind of speculation and this is fun speculation my dudes because we have got a lot of Clone Wars content coming to the game and a lot of people are wondering what should I be farming? What, 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 where should my focus be for this? We've just had Padme hit. Uh, a lot of you guys panicked a lot of these Geonosians and random characters that you might not have necessarily thought you'd be farming right now. But hopefully, you got your seven-star Padme. And then we've been told by the devs that we're going to have basically a month to just farm our rosters, finish our, you know, finish what we're farming, finish what we're gearing. Uh, I think they said there might be one release in in uh, this month, uh, but I think I think they also said, I'm trying to remember the exact words, I don't have them pulled up, I probably should, uh, but they were delaying a release, in fact, and so this is a month to prepare for what is coming. Now, I'm going to ask you all to take what I'm about to give you with a pretty solid grain of salt. I have zero inside information. I do not know where all of this is going. And so this is going to be just kind of reading the stars a little bit. And sometimes reading the stars is like really conclusive. Like when we were, you know, predicting what are we going to do with Darth Revan, for example. We think he's coming. We've got these four marquee characters. It was kind of like, yeah, it's pretty easy to put together. That was easy. This is not as easy. There's a lot of different directions they could go with Clone Wars content. There's a lot of Clone Wars characters in the game. Um, in fact, I, I put together a list of about seven different factions that have Clone Wars characters. I might be missing one. Um, I just spent about an hour in my roster just looking at all these characters like, okay, what do they all mean? And who are we going to need to farm? And so I'm going to break down all of them and which factions I think have characters you might need to be concerned about and then at the end I'm going to talk about kind of what, what I think uh, what, what the big picture could be with all of this and I've got two specific characters in mind all right so let's get it kicked off with Geonosians we have four Geonosians in the game we've got Sunfact we got Geonosian soldier we got Geonosian spy and we got Poggle the lesser now a lot of you may have farmed some of these characters for the Padme event. I know I've been seeing a guide going around um, showing Pogwa the Lesser making a big difference um, in that event. That's fantastic. So you may already be focusing on this. We also have a territory battle coming up that is going to almost for sure include Geonosians. And so my guess is that most of you probably have them farmed to a point uh, for the Padme event. Um, if you have holes in there, like right now for me, I don't have Pogwa the Lesser farmed up very well might be a good idea to consider putting a little more gear on those characters for the territory battle, but that's pretty much the only thing I can think of them using them beyond what they've already used them for for the Padme event. Next, we've got the old school Jedi, the Jedi Council, the Jedi that we have in the Clone Wars era. Now, there are a lot of Jedi that have been farmed pretty aggressively by a lot of us. And one of my criteria that I used when looking at these characters is who do most people have? And what is probably tends to be the case with capital games when we have um, incentives to farm characters is we bring in characters that not a lot of people have farmed yet. There are a couple Jedi that really haven't gotten a lot of love that I would really pay attention to. And the top ones on my list are I'm a Gundai, a the Sakura, Plo Koon, Eeth Koth, and Kit Fisto. Those five Jedi, now I know that's a lot to go farm. I'm not telling you to farm all of them right now, but those five Jedi have not seen very much love in this game. Ayla maybe, Ayla maybe, she's had her moments, but the others not very much at all. Mace Windu should probably be on that list, and I think we've got hints that a Mace Windu rework could be coming because he had his own unique debuff in the Padme event. Um, and, you know, considering that they just took Joe Lee, I mean, what, what, what was that character's name? And just reskinned him in there, and they actually had new abilities for Mace. Makes me suspicious that there could be a Mace rework coming, uh, but Mace... <sighs> I feel like Mace has been, there's been incentive to farm Mace um, with his ship um, in particular. And so if there's going to be a panic farm coming for Mace, it doesn't make as much sense to me. But Mace might make that discussion too. And I think that you should be aware that a, good, a rework could be on the horizon. And so out of those, those are the Jedi I would 
take a peek at and consider putting a little bit of gear on or at least getting some snagging some of their shards if you don't have them finished yet. Next on the list, we've got our clone troopers. And out of the clone troopers, the number one character I think that we don't need to worry about much happening with is probably Rex because Rex has just had a ridiculous amount of time to shine in this game. Not super concerned about much happening with Rex. Fives may, might make that discussion as well uh, because Fives is a character that at the beginning of the game, a lot of us old time players used to have him and use him on a very regular regular basis. He's still pretty valuable now, to be honest. Um, but the rest of the clones, Cody maybe not, but especially Echo and Clone Sergeant are two characters that get a little bit less of that attention. And this is the Clone Wars, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Clone Wars. And so what are we going to see with clones? I would hope that we, that we see new clones coming to the game, maybe a new clone leader, um, something to really bring that faction together. What I, what I think clones deserve is the same kind of love that we have with Night Sisters or Bounty Hunters right now in Territory Wars, where placing them on defense is just automatic uh, in, in Grand Arena um, as well, or First Order. I, they're, they're in that caliber for me. Um, they deserve that kind of love. And so if you have any holes in your clone troopers, um, I'm not I'm not necessarily suggesting slapping a bunch of gear on them, but if there's anyone not quite farmed up to seven stars yet, you might want to look into that because this is the Clone Wars. I, I could see a lot of love coming to clones as well. And then we've got our Clone Wars era Sith. Uh, the, mo the Sith that stand out the most to me are going to be Darth Maul, Darth Sidious, Count Dooku, Savage Opress, and all of those characters have had moments to shine already. I don't think we need to worry too much about having Sith. The one Sith that does stand out to me, though, as potentially vital is um, Darth Sidious. And the reason for that is there are two characters that I think could be kind of the Darth Revan, so to speak, of this era. We were told that we were gonna have a lot of focus on Clone Wars in the road ahead, and that was in the same discussion as Old Republic. Now look at how much came with Old Republic. We got a raid, we got uh, two legendary, or journey characters, um, we got you know uh, a legendary character, whatever we wanna call Malak, so basically three journey characters. Um, so if we're gonna get a couple of those, I think the, the few that stand out to me are, um, um, a fallen Anakin, which I think is really likely that just sounds we've asked for that fallen Anakin would be dope um, an episode three version of Obi-Wan and maybe a Sheev Palpatine um, that's maybe maybe I'm being a little bit too audacious there, but I want the Senate in the game and I think that is a very stark possibility. Two of those characters could utilize Palpatine if we had a legendary. If we have the dark side version of Anakin, you know, before he pre-suit Vader, he just had his limbs chopped off, you know, or not, no, pre-deliming, pre-deliming, <laughs> but he's still Darth Vader. Um, that, you know, so technically Darth Vader just pre-suit. Um, I could see Sidious being used for that because Sidious is who turned Anakin to the dark side. Or what's more, what if we get Sheev Palpatine? Maybe Sidious would be needed to get Sheev Palpatine and then Sheev Palpatine is used to get dark side Anakin because Sheev Palpatine is the one who turned him. It wasn't, I mean, he wasn't all in his Darth Sidious uh, get up. It was, it was Sheev Palpatine that got there and obviously a very critical person in the Clone Wars. And then we've got our droids. Now this is a faction I think we're pretty safe on as well, mostly because that was pretty much the whole point of the Padme event, right? The best characters were High General Grievous, B2, B1, Droidica. They were the real MVPs. Well, maybe not B1, but they're the MVPs of that Padme event. Uh, B1 is a character maybe you want to look at, and I, I'm at, honestly, if you don't have Droidica and B1 on your farm list, I think they probably should be independent of the Clone War stuff because it's just a really good, uh, you know, second tier defensive team for Grand Arena, one that I really want to have. I just, because of all the Old Republic focus, I haven't had time to focus on it. And so those are two characters that I would be interested in, but as far as will they be needed for anything else in the Clone Wars era, I feel like we saw what they're needed for already in Padme. And then we've got our bounty hunters, and this is one I feel like we've had just endless incentive to farm bounty hunters already, just because they're such a solid Territory Wars, Grand Arena defensive and offensive team. Um, if you don't have Jango Fett farmed already, go farm him anyway. I mean, th that's a guy that you're going to want to have in your roster, um, along with the rest of these bounty hunters. Pretty much 
every bounty hunter is valuable. I mean, this is, I, I've got to gear 12 Bosk Boba and Dengar, and that's it. I've, you know, I've got a gear 11 Django, gear 11 Zam, um, etc. But I really, I just honestly, if I could, I would have this full faction at gear 12. They're fantastic. Um, I just don't see necessarily them being utilized for any panic farming in Clone Wars because we've already just had so much incentive to farm them. I think a lot of people, it's, it's not uncommon at all to have a lot of love on this faction in your rosters. And so I think we're pretty safe for the bounty hunters. And then finally, we've got the Night Sisters. And I feel the same way about Night Sisters as I do about uh, bounty hunters, almost more so. Uh, there's less of them. Um, and I mean, look, I've got almost every Night Sister at gear uh, 12. The only ones I don't are Talia, who I've got 11 and Initiate, who I've given almost no love to. She's just sitting at gear seven. Um, I mean, there's just been so many reasons to farm these characters. Outside of the Clone Wars, this is a faction you want to have, but looking forward to Clone Wars content, I don't necessarily see Night Sisters being utilized for much, unless they want to venture in and bring us additional Night Sisters, which I really don't see happening. I think this faction has received enough love. All right, my friends, so that is my breakdown of all the Clone Wars characters. I might be forgetting some, and if I am, let me know down in the comments, and I'll respond, give you my thoughts on them. I just, just racking my brain over everyone who shows up in Clone Wars. This is what I personally personally came up with um so to reiterate the three characters that we got three big characters for the old republic era if i were to guess the three big characters we could get for clone wars content it would be fallen anakin it would be sheath palpatine and it would be maybe an episode three a new version of obi-wan kenobi i don't think this is out of the question at all uh for all three of those to come could be others some i mean i don't know what other legends Legendary characters there could be. I guess we already got Padme, um, so she counts, right? Uh, but I, w what characters we may need for those are going to be those that are connected to those journeys. Anakin's the one I'm personally the most interested in, especially because we have a legendary character in the game right now that is an obvious choice to use for Anakin if he were to come. Um, you know, say we get fallen Anakin, I could really see Padme, I could see Snips, I could see the you know the version of Anakin we have right now, General Kenobi, and maybe Sid all be utilized for that or potentially if they decide to bring in Sheev Palpatine he would take the place of Sidious because we're doing the fall we're using characters that influence that fall we were part of that journey and nobody was more important to Anakin's fall than Sheev Palpatine and so those are the characters that I would personally be interested in Padme is one I'm putting some pretty heavy stock into um, along with um, I, I'm definitely interested in Snips and maybe some of those other Clone Wars era Jedi I would love to see additional Jedi coming to this game mm, just mm, please bring us more Jedi and make these Jedi good CG I mean there's so many Jedi that are Clone Wars era that are just bad. I mean, who who uses Kit Fisto anywhere? What are your thoughts on my speculation and who are you planning on farming in preparation for Clone Wars? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy the guide, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.